Hello everyone, welcome back to Soda Saturday for this final edition of 2018. So here I have Stewart's Sugar-Free Impact Energy. Hey, you remember when I reviewed Stewart's Impact Energy when it had sugar in it? Oh my god! Dear lord! Ugh. Guys, I'll be honest with you. This is actually worse than that Rockstar drink I had. This tastes equally like toothpaste. Yeah, seems like a long time ago. Oh, wait. No, it was actually 10 months ago. Phew. I didn't like it then, and I'm pretty much not putting my huge bets on this one either, especially if it's sugar-free. Like I said, it tasted like toothpaste, and I do not like toothpaste in general. It's good for brushing your teeth, but it's not good for drinking. It's really disgusting, actually. Anyway, let's have a look at the label. It's exactly kind of like the regular Impact Energy, except it has blue on it. Plus, it's got the classic Stewart's logo, which is a local gas chain in our area. I'm sure some people, like, if you're watching this video and you live in, like, say, California, you probably don't get a Stewart's out there. You'll probably get your own gas station with their own, probably, exclusive drinks. But according to this, this is a citrus-flavored energy drink that tastes like toothpaste, in my opinion. But enough about toothpaste. It's also got a bunch of weird arrow designs on it. Zero calories, which is not appealing, and, of course, sugar-free energy. If this stinks, this might end up getting into the undrinkable list alongside A&W Root Beer and that disgusting soda from Disney. Oh, God, yeah, I smell, I smell the toothpaste. I smell it. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, it's basically... <laughs> they say it's sugar-free, yet it feels like they just dumped everything sugary into it. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I was right. This soda was a no-go. <laughs> but hey, that's typical toothpaste-flavored soda. <laughs> I'm sure you probably don't think it... You viewers might have a different opinion on this. Like, Avery doesn't mind this kind of soda, but I do. I do. So, yeah. This is going to go on the undrinkable list. I really do not recommend this, and I really do not want to drink it ever again. I just ended up grabbing this off the shelf yesterday because I was at a Stewart's, and Stewart's, of course, is a very snaky selection. So, yeah. Sorry, Stewart's. You're not really going to get my vote. So, yeah. One out of five for this guy. Not a really good way to end off Soda Saturday for 2018, but, yeah. So, that's Soda Saturday for 2018, folks. It was a pretty long year with actually spanning three seasons because I was... Currently starting season four when the month when the year began in January, I started season four. Then I had season five, and I started season six back in November. And with this being episode five, we're going to continue season six into 2019. I can only hope that next year we'll have a lot of soda that will, of course, make the top spots. But yeah, stay tuned next week for my top ten sodas of 2018. You may be surprised for what's on the list. See you later, folks. Bye.